Hey, it's Dave from Hot Hardware here with Frank from Dell Alienware, the VP and GM of Dell Alienware, XPS, all the cool stuff. Frank's got something new from the Alienware division called the Area 51M. Frank, tell us about this new machine, buddy. Hey guys, hey Dave. Yeah, this is our brand new Area 51M desktop replacement notebook. This thing is an absolute beast. This is the fastest gaming notebook we've ever produced. And we put some pretty amazing hardware in this thing. Starting off with the graphics card, you can expect an NVIDIA RTX 2080 graphics card. Typically that graphics card runs at 150 watts. We're going to let you overclock that baby up to 180 watts. Second big piece of news on this, the CPU. Ninth generation, Core i9, 9900K. That's an 8 core, and if you're wondering, I haven't seen 8 core mobile processors it's a yet. Desktop chip, right? You're right, exactly. <laughs> it's a desktop CPU. Typically, that CPU, like we were, the, um, typically runs at around 95 watts. That's a standard TDP, uh, thermal design power, power profile of it. We're going to let you overclock that bad boy up to 119 watts. So between, between the graphics card and the CPU, you get 299 watts of thermal design power envelope. It's pretty amazing. But we didn't stop there. I sound like a cheap salesman, but that's cool. Um, <laughs> we also are giving you the ability to upgrade just about everything inside this bad boy. So check out the motherboard over here. The CPU, because it's a desktop CPU, it's socketed. You can upgrade that. The memory is upgradable as well. Four DIN slots, so you can go all the way up to 64 gigs on this um, initially. You'll also be able to change the storage uh, SSD drives, or you can put in a hard drive in there if you want, up to three storage devices. You can change the WLAN card if you want, but you're probably wondering about graphics. Not a lot of notebooks, if any, out there that can allow you to upgrade the graphics. This is our brand new Dell graphics form factor. This thing allows you to easily remove and upgrade the graphics module inside the brand new Area 51M. So let's say you buy the Area 51M with a 2060 today to run a pretty demanding game like Battlefield 5 or PUBG. Um, but in the future, let's say Battlefield 6 comes out or PUBG 2 comes out or another big taxing demanding game and you feel like you need some more power to run it at 4K or 60 frames per second. Instead of having to replace the entire notebook um, or having to buy a an Alienware graphics amplifier, which we still support on this product, by the way, you now will have the option to go out and get like a 2070 GPU or a 2080 or maybe even the next generation beyond that, which we would hope to be able to support as we get more details about it. So a really cool way to get more longevity out of your product and kind of have some of that desktop uh, benefit of being able to upgrade your system over time with this brand new Area 51M and the ability to upgrade both the CPU and the graphics card. And that's a custom GPU module? Is that something uh, Dell invented? It is, it is. This is a custom proprietary form factor. You know, ideally we would have used MXM, uh, but unfortunately the MXM form factor has kind of disappeared from the market. So rather than, uh, than losing the benefit of being able to have modularized graphics, we invented our own form factor here. You'll see that the ports are even on the, the card itself, so you've got your HDMI and your display port right there. So as that evolves over time, as we get future versions of HDMI, for example, or as connectivity changes over time, um, it'll change right with the module as well, so you don't have to kind of be locked into a, uh, an older generation of connectivity um, if you do upgrade the graphics module. Really nice. cool, something we're really proud of. Another thing I want to show you is this bad boy is um, significantly more powerful than the area uh, than the Alienware M17 uh, and the Alienware 17-inch notebook that we offer today. But we did what we did to this thing in order to keep it reasonable in its size and form factor is we invested in a ton of magnesium and aluminum to make this thing 30% lighter, the overall frame, than the current Alienware 17. What we did with that weight savings is we invested it in the thermal module. Again, 299 watts worth of combined CPU and graphics power. So that required a bigger, beefier uh, thermal module to be able to allow you to overclock and uh, properly cool all of that horsepower. Um, so what you'll see here is eight heat pipes all flowing into these massive blowers and these massive uh, copper heat sinks over here. When I turn the Area 51M around, you can really see how we um, 
are, are exhausting all of that hot air. The heat, the heat comes, or the cold fresh air comes in from the bottom. We have a bigger open area thanks to the hexagonal pattern that we're using with this new Legend Industrial design. And then that warmed air comes out the back of the system here through these really large vented areas. On the, on the back you also have HDMI, you've got your display port. These are the ports that are connected to the, the Dell graphics uh, form factor module. You've got your RJ45, your Alienware graphics amplifier port. If you bought a graphics amplifier anytime over the last five years, you'll just plug it into this baby and it'll work immediately. You don't have to buy a new graphics amplifier or anything. They're all backwards compatible. And then let me show you the, uh, the bottom of this thing. It's really, really cool. So we're using a, a new hexagonal air intake uh, pattern and, and design. It's allowing us to get uh, the structural rigidity that you expect in this area from an Alienware product um, with, through the benefits of the hexagonal pattern and design, but we're getting a lot more airflow into the system than we've ever gotten into an, an Alienware notebook before, thanks to the large open area that we're able to use by leveraging that design. What are the acoustics like with this setup? It's a, a, it's hard to tell you exactly the decibel rating or zone rating, um, but it is quieter than the Alienware 17 that we sell today. So I would estimate, uh, we're still doing our testing, this product, uh, uh, we're a few weeks away from it uh, uh, exiting our development, but I would estimate around maybe under full load, probably 30 to 40 decibels is what I would estimate, that was our goal. So we'll see um, as we finish our final testing, and then of course it'll get a little bit louder as you overclock it. But uh, it's, so pre it's pretty good. Those honeycomb vents that, that allows you to pull in more air and keep it, it, is it quieter as a result of that? It is, well? yeah. yeah. The, the, what the honeycomb cool. pattern allows us to do is it's a really uh, efficient, structurally rigid design, um, the, the honeycomb shape itself. So what, typically in an, in an air intake system like this, we have to add a lot of structural components and mechanicals to be able to make it, you know, the, the, the firmness that you expect from an Alienware. You don't want that kind of um, that flexibility in that play and what that does is that structure starts to block airflow you need to put braces and struts and things like that um, with this honeycomb pattern it naturally is very structurally uh, rigid itself so we're able to put less material more open spaces and and improve the airflow you have less air obstruction nice. uh, with this design and then the same thing with the rear you notice how large these vents are that they're still very very strong you don't have to worry about them breaking over time or anything um, and the pattern in the open area is much larger than, for example, a rectangular or other type of uh, shape. And that's the new Legend design signature for yeah, Alienware. So this is a major Alienware redesign, uh, brand new design, revolutionary design for us. So you'll see um, the lighting that we've moved to, to the back here. It's a much softer, more rounded design than, for example, our current products. We've been working on this thing for a couple of years now. We've spent over 17,000 hours in creating this new industrial design. It's a more um, kind of futuristic minimal design. You'll notice that we've got kind of a flat surface here, not all the, um, the complexity that we have in our current pattern or our current industrial design. Um, you, you've got your symbol of what the machine represents. This is the Area 51M, so you got your A, your 5, your 1 over there. You can move to a, a, new, a, a new flat alien head design, um, which is really cool, really iconic. And then you come over here into the interior. You got your per key RGB LED keyboard. You've got your touchpad. This one actually illuminates as well. Um, and then, what, a couple key things I notice about the design: it just it looks a lot thinner. It's got a, a much more thinning type of design to it. We tuck everything in on the sides, um, so it kind of almost looks like it's hovering, and it, it, it just looks overall like a very slimming effect. Also, take a look at the LCD very narrow borders around the LCD. These are the narrowest borders we've ever put into an Alienware product. And what we've done down here is we've integrated the Toby module. So in the prior products, the Toby module is kind of protruded out of the system. It's kind of obvious that it's there. Here, it's very discreet, it's very subtle. It's integrated right underneath the Alienware logo on the LCD. So you get um, a really, really awesome Toby experience, but you don't. it's not obvious and it's not kind of adding to the form factor of the system. That required a lot of engineering in kind of modeling the way that the hinges and the Toby module were going to uh, work with each other and not and not interfere with each other. Toby eye tracking, cool. What's the panel technology we got going on here? So it's 1080p. It is 1080p, 144 hertz. Um, it's got, as you can see, beautiful colors. Uh, really fast, responsive panel. I forgot the exact response time of it, but it's like sub uh, five milliseconds. Really, really high. Um, high refresh rate panel. Cool. And then what about um, upgradability? How, do, how does a user get in there underneath the machine and then... Yeah, so it's really simple. So we knew that 
since, since the get-go that people were going to upgrade this system, we designed it for them to do so. So you have a few screws here, and this removes a cosmetic cover, if you will. That cosmetic cover will leave you um, with this view underneath it. Uh, and there's a couple things you can do. If you want to swap out the memory, for example, it's going to go in these areas over here. You can do that without ever removing this cover. Um, you can even access, um, I believe the WLAN card uh, will be over here and you can change that out if you wanted to go to a new wireless technology in the future. But if you want to get into a little bit more um, kind of the guts of the machine and start getting into the CPU and the graphics module and some of the storage uh, devices, uh, we, you have to remove this cover to do it. We tell you how many screws they are, exactly what the size of the screws are here. We identify kind of where every single thing is, WLAN, DRAM, the illumination cables, um, the battery connector. So we've tried to make it very intuitive and easy for our customers to be able to come in here and feel comfortable performing these upgrades. We want you to do the upgrades and we want you to do it in a way that you're going to feel comfortable, you're going to feel confident, um, and it's not, it's not going to be something that you're going to potentially void your warranty by damaging the machine or that you're going to be intimidated by. We're going to put a bunch of videos up on the Aerating Aware YouTube channel and we're going to do some Twitch broadcasts as well to help people get more comfortable with getting into the machine and understanding all the intricacies of it. So again, this is a desktop replacement for us. It's the horsepower of a desktop in a form factor of a notebook, but we're trying to give customers those desktop type benefits. The ability to go in there and modify and upgrade and change your hardware. Awesome. Good stuff. So components sourced by Dell when you want to upgrade. You know, the only thing we, we really want you to source from us is the graphics module because we're the only outlet to get it. Um, you can't, it's not an industry standard form factor. And then we're going to ask that you consider buying the uh, CPU from us as well because we use a very specific thermal paste that you would have to use in order to preserve your warranty if you upgraded the, uh, the CPU. Um, the rest of the components are industry standard. Get them from wherever you want. Um, if you just want to be certain that it's going to be validated and it's not going to have any conflicts with the rest of the uh, components in the system, you may be better off buying it directly from us, but that's not our key uh, initiative for us. Our strategy here is not to uh, lock you into buying components from us as part of this machine. Um, we, we, we want you to buy the, the components from wherever you want out there. We want this to be as close to a desktop as possible, but we have some recommendations around how you can just ensure you're not going to run into issues and some of that's going to be involving, uh, that, some of that will be buying the components from us where it, uh, it, it may give you less risk to do so. Cool, cool. So price and availability? So this will be available starting uh, January 6th at CES. We're going to launch it. And uh, the price will be nineteen forty nine in North America. Awesome. Great stuff, Frank. Thanks very much. Thank you, guys.